Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Bruce Bowen, and I am excited to try out this Bruce Bowen card because I think he's got potential to be a really, really good option at the small forward position, in, or sorry, at the shooting guard position, but also, honestly, at small forward in my team. He's just an elite 3 and D card. Wherever you want to play him, he's going to shoot the ball at a super high level, and he's going to be one of the better perimeter defenders in my team, also an elite level interior defender for a shooting guard or small forward. Overall, I think he's a real, really well-rounded, really, really good card at the shooting guard spot and while he may not be a great shot creator or an elite level like primary ball handler i do think this is actually one of the better cards from this rush set and could be at least a very usable option great salary cap card if his salary goes down at some point that type of stuff before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so Bruce Bowen is six foot seven at small forward or shooting guard. Honestly, either position, I don't think it really matters where you play him as long as you surround him with shot creation. 87 off at 39 defense, 85 driving late, 85 draw foul, 85 close shot, 88 mid range, 96 three ball, 84 free throw, 85 driving dunk. So he's at least a competent slasher. 86 ball handle, 97 block, 80, 98 steal, 97 perimeter, 95 interior. Defensively, he is absolutely phenomenal. 90 speed, 89 speed of ball, 85 excel, 87 vert, 95 strength, 95 stamina, and 98 lateral quickness is a really nice looking card, honestly. And then 13 Hall of Fame badges include catch and shoot corner specialist limitless range anchor challenger clamps glove interceptor off up has pick dodger post lockdown rice sticker burn 94 feet like i said great shooter and especially great defender 32 golds include agent three blinders dead eye guard up bailout break starter unpluckable um etc etc speed booster removable enforcer removable enforcer is a huge one to have he's also got blow by and bulldozer which is good now does not have your fast twitch posterizer precision dunker handles for days brick wall those types of badges and if you are planning on actually using this card it would be nice to add brick wall handles for days and then precision dunker and posterizer at least those four badges would really help him out but even without them he is still going to be a great three-point shooter and a great defender and that is enough for me to at least use him capably this is definitely a very usable card simply because he is so elite at those couple things now release even on normal is just a very smooth easy straight up and down quick he just a absolutely cash release should have no issues whatsoever catching and shooting with bruce bowen now his behind the back is not amazing um his same side burst is almost non-existent he has a, a bad same side hezzy so he can't same side burst unless you trigger it diagonally up his escape is bad um his between the legs burst is slow and not very good he just doesn't dribble very well the one thing he does have i think is pro dribble style which does have a quick diagonally down push cross which is decent and because he's got an 85 driving dunk he's a decent dish slasher even without finishing badges um but if you got some finishing badges those will definitely help regardless mainly offensively he is a catch and shoot shooter who is a competent fade he has a competent fade he's got uh, normal fade so he's definitely can shoot the fade as well um as i just green but green to both sides and then defensively he's a primary lock the defensive end of the court is what gives this card a lot of values because he is as good as he is on that end of the court and i think he will be a very good card quite simply mostly off the strength of his defensive ability so i do think bros bowen's gonna be a good card i'm excited to try him out let's hop into a game let's see what bros bowen can do all right, hop into this game. This dude does not have a great team, I will admit. He's got Diamond CP3, Jason Richardson at shooting guard. Good catch and shoot first possession. Knock down Bruce Bowen. Very nice. Pink Diamond and Bead at power or at center. Willis Reed at power forward and uh, Diamond Paulo at small forward. This is like a good season three lineup. Not a good enough team at this point in the year, but I'm not that concerned about that. That'll give me an opportunity to score the ball a little bit more with Mr. Bowen as well. I put him on Chris Paul, but I don't know. Maybe I should have put him on Jay Rich. Obviously, he's an elite level defender regardless. Um, if this dude keeps trying to run through Jay Rich, I will eventually switch that matchup to Bowen. He hasn't even attempted to look at Chris Paul yet, but I that was a horrible position. Great shot, I guess. I don't know what else to say about that one, to be honest. I was going to say that was a horrible possession, but then he came out and did that. So I don't even know. Oh, he's going zone. I, that's unique. I will say I don't see a lot of zone these days, I feel like, in my team. Although I don't love seeing zone in gameplay specifically. I don't mind playing against zone. I actually think it's really easy to play against. Um, but in gameplays, I did not mean to go up with that at all. It's, it's easy to play against when the game lets you do what you're supposed to do. I definitely just pump faked and then it made me go up with that. But he steps out of bounds, so we get the stop back. It's all right. Zone in gameplays can be kind of annoying though, because you can't really work the way you generally would with a uh, with your offense. Like I can dot that to the hash and I get a three ball out of it. Catch and shoot. There you go. You know what? With a guy like Bruce Bowen, I don't mind because he wasn't really going to be a primary shot creator anyway. So against the zone, I can just you bait the zone in a way to, that it helps off of Bruce Bowen basically, and then I can create three point shots for him pretty much every single possession. I think. Um, good lob there. He somehow finishes it. I 
he didn't time it right, but it still went in. So you know what? I guess congratulations to you, my friend. You are a lucky man. Uh, push the ball here. Hit it out to the pop. Bowen off the dribble. Now, he does have the pro push cross. That is the one thing he does have. Uh, pump fake. Hit to the corner. He should have stepped out. He didn't step out quickly enough. And we will take the three ball. He clicked off, but he didn't click on to Embiid and then contest the shot. And so he was too far down in the excuse me, in the paint from where he'd been helping from. So it's kind of his fault. He gave a wide open three and we'll take the assist with Bowen. So look at the defense. That right there is the Bruce Bowen value. Elite level defender forcing the pickup on an elite ball handler in Chris Paul. Yes, Chris Paul might not be the best card in my team, but he certainly has amazing playmaking badges and all that type of stuff. And Bruce Bowen harassing the ball handler and making him work is exactly what you're looking for in all honesty. And he does a really good job there. So very, very nice job by uh, Mr. Bowen. But uh, unfortunately, our opponent still does at least score one point in this uh, in this possession on a free throw there. So let's go pick and pop again. We're going to see if we can just attack downhill here. Beat the defender off the dribble a little bit more than I actually did. That would have been nice. Uh, I don't have a same side Hezzy that I can really go to. And I don't really have a behind the back either. But we're going to try it anyway. Into the pro push cross. Get inside. Look at Bruce. Let's go. Pro push cross gets to the rim and dunks. And he is a capable finisher. You add posterizer precision dunker. I actually think he could be a decent slasher. And the pro dribble style is a good dribble style to slash off of. So he will have at least like one thing you can kind of go to to score the ball look at akeem what a freaking defensive animation bro i hit x and he animated to another defend to a to a, a guy that wasn't even his responsibility that is just an amazing job of playing two but two with one both by me but also by hakeem in all honesty uh like ugh, the thing is he just doesn't move well the only thing he can do is pro push cross otherwise it's like his escape is between the legs and his same side has he are all terrible so like he doesn't do any of those things well. And that's what those are the core drill moves to being able to shot create and dribble and do everything. The thing is, at the end of the day, there are enough cards that are elite level defenders, maybe not quite as good as Bruce Bowen, but even guys who are as good as Bruce Bowen is defensively, who are much more versatile as playmakers and overall offensive cards. So will Bruce Bowen be an absolute catch, catch and shoot shooter who is very viable simply because he can defend at a super high level and shoot at a super high level? Sure. He's a very usable card. There's no doubt about that. Honestly, three and D cards generally are more usable, even if they're more limited as an overall card than other types of cards because it's always nice to have a guy with a great release who can defend their butt off like that is a really really nice skill set to have and as long as you surround that with shot creation you can definitely use a card like that like for example i have austin reese and tyrus thomas out here that's two legit primary ball handler type ball handlers so that gives me the flexibility to bring bruce brown out here and literally do nothing with him with the ball in his hands because i have guys who can put the ball on the floor it doesn't look like it there when i screw up the drill move like that but regardless, uh, I would love to fade here, but it's just not there. He doesn't have handles for days. Getting handles for days on him will help if you want to do any sort of playmaking at all. Nice fade there. Green's the normal fade. He's a great shooter, bro. He's going to hit every single type of shot. His upper makes his fades easy to time. I mean, I was hitting him in freestyle, and I hit the first one here. Defensively, he's awesome, and he harasses CP there again. Recovers very beautifully. He's a great card in a lot of ways. He's just not... He's not Kobe. He's not Ron Artest. He's not T Mac or B Roy. You know what I mean? Like, but that's okay. He's still a very viable, solid option. And he and he is definitely, in my opinion, at least the second best of today's cards. Obviously, I think Rodman is probably the best, but I do think this card is very, very nice. Um, reset it back out. He's absolutely gassed, and we get the ball stolen anyway. Game's over, regardless, though. To be honest, 39 seconds left. We have hooped in this one. To be honest, um, he's gonna get a what in the world was that animation? Jay Rich just like did the most insane windmill layup I've ever seen in my life. He went to, I guess it was Wimbledon got taken out of the animation. Sometimes that produces some really glitchy animations, though, and we just definitely saw one of those right there. Step back three has no chance of going in. Tyrus Thomas with the board. Let's go pick and pop one more time here. Um, Kimba escape into a downhill drive. We're going to come back out here. We're going to go same side burst. I mess it up anyway. Catch and shoot. Good playmaking, low key. We got off the screen. We got ourselves an open bucket. And Bruce Bowen with 13 points, two assists, five of six, three and three from three. That is a very solid performance by a very, very solid card. Is he the best of the best? No. Is he very, very solid? Yes. And I enjoyed using him in this gameplay. So I hope y'all did enjoy the video as well. He's an elite level three ND card without a doubt. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.